Welcome back again to Auto Transport Intel. My name is Jay, and you are watching Auto Transport Intel uh, live on Tuesday nights live. And okay, there we already got. Oh, there's a, I got a notification of my own show. How cool that I'm live. All right, so this is DispatchMonkey.com show. All right, it's epi episode 27. And this is an awesome new tool. I told you last week that we'd be, we'd be showing this tool. And we've got an interview with the creator of DispatchMonkey.com. So uh, stick around. In about 15 minutes, we're going to get to that. We're going to first go through industry news. So if industry news bores you or for whatever reason you're watching this on demand, just go ahead and click that little button and move it up forward into about 20 minutes from now. And then... Uh, and then we'll we'll get to dispatchmonkey.com. It's gonna blow you away. I swear you want to see this. All right. So, um, hey, what's up, Dave? Got Dave on the show. First one in. Thanks for joining me tonight, Dave. Uh, Mike Nikov. Yeah. Hello, everyone from East West Express Hauling. Yes. If you have a question about dispatching or you need a load moved, you could talk to Mike. Uh, really helpful, and we're we're glad to see you back here tonight, Mike. Really appreciate you joining me. Uh, Acme Transport is back. Yes, sir. It is that time again. It's Tuesday night, 8 o'clock Central Time. Um, and Mike M. is back with us. Hello, Mike. Um, Mike, man, you're coming a long way with the dispatching. So, I mean, it's really cool. My dispatcher and training. And um, really, really cool to see what's going to happen next with you. Uh, the one and only is back. Welcome back to the show. Awesome, awesome. DP Dispatch is with us tonight. So just met uh, Davison the other day and gave him some pointers about uh, marketing DP Dispatch. So he's a bilingual dispatcher. So um, check him out if you uh, if you could use help and you could use that extra advantage in your dispatching. Uh, who else we got in here? The Nerd on 18 Wheels is back. What's up? All right, welcome. Thanks for joining me back in the show. And um, yeah, Mike, I'm happy to be here too. You know, I look forward to this. Um, once I crank up the machine at eight o'clock, I'm back. I'm live, and um, yeah, it is. It's pretty fun. So I enjoy it. It's my passion um, to create a show, and in this kind of niche with something so tedious as uh, dispatching. For car haulers and you guys have the hard work dispatching is the easy part being on the phone getting frustrated um, being on the elements it's still cold out there in most parts of the country and just working out there every day long hours dealing with the new ELD regs there's drones are there ELD drones come on really that's crazy uh, Big Papa, what's up, man? Welcome back to the show, Hotshot Dave. Welcome back, Hotshot. If anybody sees an ELD drone, let me know. I guess they're not out yet, but it was just a, a Facebook thing that I saw. It's crazy, man. Really? Do we need that? Come on, that can't be right. Um, all right, let's get to some industry news. All right, we're five minutes already into the show, so let's do that. So. Also, you see down there, I got, a, I got, I got a new logo in the works. So if you like the logo, you know, let me know what you, what you think of that. Um, you have any feedback or whatever? That's cool. Hashtag this is car hauling because this is car hauling. And um, let's see here. All right, here we go. Industry news. Let's get this thing going. It is easy to find someone to drive a truck, but it's hard to find a truck driver. Amen to that. Oh, by the way, you know what I forgot to do? Let's see here. Hang on. Bear with me one second. Um, I've been working on the, uh, as you can see, I've been working on the um, kind of the skins of the, uh, there we go. There's me. I've been working on the skins on this thing, and it is pretty neat what uh, OBS will allow you to do. This is OBS open broadcaster software i think is what it's called and that's what i'm using to create these skins to create the stream so it's pretty cool all right let's go to the next screen next slide okay yeah that is a that's a truck i remember i used to live in a, a strange part of town and i would see these guys with these really souped up vehicles and i wondered how if they were really street legal, is that street, that can't be street legal. 
but it is cool. I don't know. I'm really curious, actually. Miguel Valle, welcome to the show, man. All right. And Pablo, welcome to the show. Uh, oh, you love the show. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, in exchange, all I ask for is likes, comments, shares, subscriptions, and the channel's growing, man. I couldn't be more excited about it. I just crossed 1,600 subscribers, and this show is like, uh, it started in June of 20, actually started in July of 2017. So, what am I, I'm at nine months. Uh, so, pretty cool. All right, cool, let's move on. Sadly, it is. Is that, is that, is that truck street legal? Really? Okay. When you park like that because this is youtube keeping it clean you park like that i found that really interesting that's an interesting trick i think we've all been there come on we've all been there uh oh his chiropractor loves this load <laughs> man that thing is really low that would be hard to see think about that next time you know you're you're where's my car where's my car well you know what that is tough dude Give the, give the driver a break. Um, if you have these headlights, that's, uh, yeah, I've, have you seen, you see headlights, come on. You guys must see headlights that make you crazy. Oh, yeah, this is going around Facebook. <laughs> oh, man, somebody took the math problem and made it interesting and applied it to car haulers. I found, I found the relevance and perspective fascinating maybe you could go over that with the dot officer when he surprises you at the rest area yeah i love that one david hey jay it's the newbie again all right cool man this show is for knowledge oh yeah have you seen jbg travels please don't do it now but check out jbg travels man he is killing it i was checking him on socialblade.com and he's getting like 150 subscribers a day on average. Oh, what I would do for 150 subscribers. Okay, all right, let's go easy. Uh, name something you see at a truck stop. <laughs> Man, I bet you could name a lot of things. You know, it's funny. Even just a passenger vehicle like I would drive, it, I've seen crazy stuff at truck stops, and I'm rarely there. Wow, these stickers look so realistic. I like that. You know, it's pretty cool. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm glad somebody got that photo. How do you get the, you know, that's kind of lucky. All right, so now we're going to do move into the boring ELD portion of the video. So, you man, you definitely want to skip ahead. Bear with me. Um, I've been talking about ELDs for weeks and, and that's why I got I got the ELD skull over here and I mean you know listen I, I've known it for weeks for months it's you don't want it okay you don't want it but you have to do it people are talking HOS ELD FMCSA DOT you know but you got to have you have to have an ELD so somebody finally bit the bullet um, I got a couple in here where people have finally bit the bullet. He's saying he's not on e-log, but what do they do when they're stuck, stand still in, a tra in traffic? I mean, come on, what do you do? Well, that's when the ELD drone gets you, right? The ELD drone comes in and, you know, I don't know. I don't know what happens. Uh, let's see here. Um, oh, Jesse's back. Cool. Man, welcome to the show. All right uh let's see oh title says 2000 truck but it was built december 6 99 i should be exempt correct well you'd think so you'd hope so wouldn't you and you know you'll see me i'm looking over here i'm looking at the chat line over here as i bore you with eld stuff i promise we'll get through this stuff i promise we'll get through it together this guy says his truck is eld exempt and because of that uh let's see here because of the engine build year and which is that's actually what dictates the exemption is the engine build year um so he put this on the side of his door i'm sure he's still you know well you know maybe they don't believe it maybe they do maybe they send in the drones hey man i got excited there 
30 minute breaks are like watching paint dry while someone is scratching a chalkboard. That's why you need ELD Kool-Aid. Oh, super safe, super Kool-Aid. And, you know, drink it all during your break. Uh, coming soon. And I gotta start selling that stuff. Before e-logs, how did we ever know we were too tired to work? Thanks, e-logs. Thank God for the DOT. <laughs> I like that. Okay, clearly. Uh, oh, violation approaching. Seven minutes. Dude, what do you do when you see that? I mean, how do you get over in seven minutes? What? Well, you should have thought of that. You should have thought of that. You know what? That's your problem. Here's your ticket. Uh, Y'all look up code from FMCSA handbook 381.600. Someone sent it to me the other day. Seems like a loophole for e-log. It came from Matt's. Check it out. I don't know. I didn't check it out. I didn't have time. Yeah, I didn't do my homework. Come on, man. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's see. What do we got here? We have got a mobile home DOT physicals and chiropractic care. <laughs> There's a phone number. Why not? Give it a shot. Flying J. I don't know where that is, and I don't know why that is, but that is a um, that's a definite winner. Alex, awesome. Let's see here. Alex is back, and Mike and Alex. All right. Awesome, man. Awesome. Good to see you guys talking. Please do that. Please keep that going. All right. I'm gonna keep going. I think we're through the ELD. Oh. You know, I put this in there. I'm not going to read it. This is YouTube, right? But that is a good question. That's a pretty good question. So, I'm just saying. Uh, I just got pulled over by the California DOT. They gave me a $1,000 cash safe driving award. Well, it wasn't that nice. Um, anybody know what that is? That's not good. That is not, that's gross, dude. You're grossing me out. Uh, where is it in the green book where it mentions cracks? I need to see if DOT is going to give me a paddling if I'm caught asking for my co-driver. Of course. Yeah, stuff coming down the road, that sucks. That is not, you know. You can't plan, listen, you can't plan for cracks in your windshield. I had another one, I don't know where it went. Oh, well. Uh, and then turbo, man. Turbo is an expensive one, isn't it? That's a bummer. Um, this one, man, this one really sucks. Here's one to think about. If you're a customer and you're wondering where the driver is, man, does anybody in Jacksonville area know someone who will take a blank check and come fix this for me? Just about to drive down the road. Frustrated. So this is, I do believe, this, this is the hydraulics control, the controls for the hydraulics, and it's not looking too good. That is not good. Um, yeah, man, question. Mike, dude, Mike is connected, man. If you need something, dude, chat with Mike. Great guy, great connections, here to help. So, um, fun times on the side of the freeway when a wheel bearing blows. New bearings, new race. This is why you carry extra parts and tools to save time. In fact, I got a guy, I found, I found a uh, post in here. Somebody's got extra parts. Oh, there's another cracked chip, yeah. That's a nice one. Right in the center. Perfect. <laughs> that sucks. That sucks. I mean, what do you do? What do you do there, man? I don't know. I think that's... This guy's thinking, what do you do? And he's thinking... I don't know, dude. He's texting. He's looking at his phone. No, he's not. He's trying to help. Jay? Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, we got another one. Oh, man. That's... That's... I think that's worse. I think that's worse. Everybody go to the other side of the truck. This this way. 
That sucks. That sucks. That's a bad day. Trying to help the driver get the thing on the ground. Any ideas? I don't know what you do, man. Anybody have an idea on that? I don't know what you do. Dude. I mean, there's so many car hauler accidents or just slip-ups or, man, oh, this was today, dude. Oh, golly. I mean, he got pretty far, too. I guess he just kind of kept going and then slammed it. Okay, yeah, there's a phone number. Heck yeah, give him a call. That's awesome. Um, okay, yeah, here's a guy. This guy has a bunch of parts. Anyone in need of car hauler parts, let him know. Uh, this came off of Facebook. Most of the stuff came off of Facebook. So if you need some parts, check it out. Oh, oh this is cool. Shout out to Dave Meeker Trucks. We had a leveling valve in the trailer break off for a second time. They stopped to help after seeing the smoke and that's awesome so that is cool man that is cool that's the kind of community we are talking about all right if you're governed at 65 why are you trying to pass the other truck that is governed at 65 that's a good question and you know what this is one of the areas where i think like average folks residents passengers People you see on the road, this is why they get mad at trucks. Because they see this, among other things. But this one, you know, you see two trucks barely moving and they just keep going. And you're thinking, what, you know, what am I supposed to do here? What is the story? So, eh, just saying. Eh, I just lost 100 subscribers. Well done, Jay. All right, patience took my $1.56 a mile to $2.26. Yeah, man, negotiations. Um, Brandon and Alliance Logistics just had a webinar on, it started, yeah, it was two, two and a half hours ago. He was talking about negotiations. And in fact, in the freight world, what was it? Accessory? An accessory charge is if you pick up the freight and it's not what you thought it was, then you additionally charge an accessory charge accessorial charge and we try that in car hauling and you know what what do we get busy signal voicemail right interesting this is interesting that's texas i found that really interesting i mean you already know texas is big but uh when you put it up against cambodia or france or Germany. That's just really interesting. Man, Texas is big. That's why you don't mess with it, right? You get your 70 ounce to sirloin and get out. All right. Uh, this is on Central Dispatch. <laughs> Moving two bedroom house furniture and boxes. That is, I know that Central Dispatch. I have never seen a listing like that. That's hilarious. What has. Oh, enclosed trailer required. Oh, okay, good. Well, that's good. At least that part's done right. Okay. Um, hey, gang, found myself 15 hours from home in the middle of nowhere in Utah with a junk motor. One week later, I'm back on the road with a new engine and a whole lot of respect for this shop. So, good to know. Monticello, Utah. You guys see that? Let me just make that larger there. And um, if you... Uh, if you find yourself in that region in need of help, I saw it on Facebook and I'm just sharing it with you. All right. Cool. Um, drivers wanted up to 35% depending on experience. Okay, so there's a, there's a name that's on Facebook and check it out. I don't know anything about it, but I, you know, anytime I see job openings help wanted i'm gonna post it because you know we're all talking about the job i know i like to say that hump day friday two for tuesday whatever fine line transportation you got an email you got a phone number oh uh, let's see let's go ahead and show that yeah all right man not everybody can car haul <laughs> Go back to pulling that box. 
Yeah, pulling the box. Thinker, test, check, check, Mike, test, one, two, check. Hey, Brian, welcome to the show. Um, okay. What else we got here? Man, it's already 822, that's insane. Now hiring, Tim Meyer, you got a phone number, you got an email, you got some info. So check it out. And, oh, and here's DP Dispatch, check that out. Bilingual car hauling dispatcher, you got a phone number, you got an email address, you got a website. So check that out. I'm going to move that up here in case that... Can't read the phone number, Jay. Well, I tried. I think you can see it. Here, let's do this. Um, there you go. Now you can see it. These skins are cool, man. This, this OBS software is awesome. I highly recommend it. There uh, we go. Okay. And... Oh, and there it is. Check that out. In Spanish. So, delivering on a promise. But the phone number's the same. Hey. I was just kidding. <laughs> that was kind of stupid. <laughs> okay, so I saw this. Uh, I love it when the, uh, when the Indiana State Police on Facebook, um, you know, they, they get active with uh, their social media, and they posted this today. Findings, it's been reported that top plate grease or lubricants attract road grime and can soil clothes and hands unnecessarily, especially when fingerless super trucker gloves are worn. Uh, action, it's advisable to always keep the top plate completely dry and free of all grease and lubricants. I don't know, man. There's like a code for everything, right? It's like, wow. It's crazy. All right, let's go ahead and close that out. Um... Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to read. Uh, let's do this before before we uh, before we get Dispatch Monkey on the phone. I want to read this. This is uh, Randy Whitmer. Uh, here, here we go. Okay, public service announcement by Randy Whitmer. Now he he posted this on Facebook. It was either today or yesterday, and people seem to really like what he said. So let's take a look here. He says, the FMCSA is asking how to fix the HOS rules, and I would like to use the same hours of service rules that all DOT, FMCSA executives and employees use, and almost everyone else in the country for that matter. I can imagine that would what that would look like, going to bed when I'm tired and going back to work when rested, and that's how you fix the hours of service rules. I spoke to a surgeon yesterday that was about to start a 24-hour shift. And I'm not allowed to haul dead meat on the highways after 11 and a half hours. Did you truckers know that bus drivers can stop their duty clock anytime during their day? I didn't think so. Good luck getting an answer as to why they can and truckers can't. The FMCSA didn't answer me. I just turned 65 and thought I'd do another 10 to 15 years, but with the ELD mandate, I may have driven my last trip. I refuse to operate in such an unsafe manner that ELDs and HOS have created on our highways. If you're on the road, you know what I'm talking about. The president that a lot of truckers put in office said he will get rid of unnecessary government regulations that hurt small businesses. He hasn't done that. Truckers are treated badly everywhere we turn. Shippers and receivers hold us up for hours with no compensation. They charge if we're one minute late, they charge if we're early, they charge rescheduling fees if late, they won't let us use their restrooms, they won't let us on their docks, and yet charge us for them removing their freight from our trailer. Then if there is a shortage or damage, we don't know how it happened. If we run out of hours due to them taking too long, they want us off their property. If there isn't street parking, we got a problem. All new truck stops have very little parking available. They want you to fuel and leave. The trend is to get rid of the restaurants and put in fast food only. Drivers don't have time for a sit-down meal. 
the big truck stops have rows of reserved parking now for 20 bucks a night. Rest areas are all full by afternoon. You need to double park just to run in and use the facilities. Off and on ramp shoulders are often blocked or marked no parking. Law enforcement is always looking for ways to write us a ticket. Even if it's illegal, then we have to go to court to prove our innocence. It's sad to say, but safety's not a top priority when it comes to law enforcement. Case in point, a friend slept for eight hours, then drove with intentions of taking two more off to eat and shower. Meanwhile, he got inspected, was put out of service for 10 hours. Do you think he could sleep? So, later he had to drive when he was tired. Is that safe? After 70 hours of duty in 8 days, you need to take off 34 hours. Imagine being a few hours or even 10 minutes from home. You get to spend 34 hours in your truck instead of Easter weekend with the family? If it wasn't for the person texting that caused the accident that held you up, you would have made it home. Please, 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 if you know someone interested in becoming a trucker, try to talk them out of it. It's a thankless job. If I hang it up, I won't be funding our federal, state, and local governments. But there will be an immigrant from another country wanting my job and will send his money back to his homeland. How's that going to make America great again? Was that a rant or not? Don't even get me started. Sent from my iPhone. So, what do you guys think of that? Huh? Is he right? I mean, what is this? What are we, we killing ourselves for what? Right? For a hole in the head. All right. So, that brings me to, why do I have an arrow through my head? Because I have been doing it wrong for too long. I've been sifting through the load boards, right? I, I put in my, let's see, okay, I do my region search. Where am I picking up? I don't know. Uh, let's do, let's see here. This is me all day long, right? Maryland, uh, New Jersey to, I don't know, man. Where are we going to go? Let's see here. We don't know what we're going to do. Midwest, South, and uh, I've got an open trailer. I got, I don't know, one through all, maybe I'm a seven car, six car, five car, I don't know. I'm going to do, I'm going to do five, one through five. I got a five car and I'm looking for the next, I don't know, man, seven days and let's do 500 results on top and one hour or newer. All right. And let's do a search, all right? And I'm going to get this giant list from this big electronic phone book. And then I'm going to have to sift through 500 results and try and figure something out, right? Well, something's changed. Somebody actually came up with a good idea. And it's called Dispatch Monkey. So I get to take the stupid arrow out of my head. And I've got a tool... Let me move my window here. Ah, uh, where's my window at? Hang on one second. All right. There's my... <laughs> okay, here's this. Video capture. Okay. Let me make this smaller. Dispatchmonkey.com. So, here's my results. I got 500 results, right? And I got to sift through all this stuff and figure out what to do, but not with Dispatch Monkey. This is gonna be cool. Are you guys ready to have your minds blown? Yeah, give me your searches because we are gonna start searching for the cars you want your way. Hello? Hey, welcome to Auto Transport Intel. Hey, how you doing, Jay? I'm good, man. Uh, you're you're live. Awesome. I'm live right now. Yeah, you're live That's right now, point. and we're looking at DispatchMonkey.com right now. Awesome. Awesome. 
I know. It is. It's pretty cool. The moment is here. Yeah. Let me know when you want me uh, to say something there. So do this. Um, before, I mean, I've, I've, I've dropped... I've dropped the, you know, the curtain, and here's the site. We haven't seen anything yet. So before we show what your tool does, in a nutshell, why did you create this? Okay. Thank you so much, Jay, for uh, having me on the show tonight, and I'm really excited about uh, tonight's show. Um, I'm speaking um, on behalf of... Uh, having experiences I can't hold on myself and um, I really uh, love the verb that you have uh, Jay to uh, bring forth uh, everything about car hauling and uh, look out for uh, the hard-working car hauler out there because you very well and myself know that it is very difficult out there for car haulers we have everybody who's just trying to uh, get uh, all their money and stuff, and uh, car haulers really, really work hard. And I'm speaking from uh, uh, that background myself. And I uh, developed this uh, excellent tool here because I was trying to really solve my own problem, Jay, as a dispatcher, because I've been in, in car hauling for over 11 years now. And I've literally been on central dispatch almost every day for over 11 years. So you can uh, imagine uh, how many uh, load boards that I have been uh, working uh, to uh, collate every day. You know, we have central dispatch, we have ready, we have all kind of load boards. So with uh, me dispatching almost 20 companies at one time, so it was very tedious. You know how it is, mapping routes and trying to find uh, call brokers at the same time, and you know you have drivers' problems and everything, and you still have to find the best routes for the drivers. You understand? So I do. I developed uh, this awesome tool to actually solve that problem because DispatchMonkey.com, what it actually does, it helps uh, car haulers discover routes with the highest revenue, and at the same time, it provides time efficiency, which means you will actually see that route almost instantly, and you'll be able to choose uh, which route that you want, because you have all the informed information pertaining to the cost of taking that route. You know, we'll have, you know, the total cost of those vehicles, and we'll also have you know, the route that you're going to take, that's going to show the toll roads uh, cost and the, um, going to show the mileage, uh, the gas per miles, and uh, everything exciting on that route. And we also show you the pictures of the vehicles that you're going to pick up because, you know, it's very important for drivers to be able to know and have informed information about what it is that they're going to pick up because that's seen that this was really a biggest problem when I was a car hauler because you never knew exactly what you were going to pick up. But it helps drivers to be ready for uh, the task at hand if they already know what it is that they're going to pick up. Am I lying, Jay? All right. No, you're right. So I'm going to stop you there, okay, because now yeah. I'm excited. So if I don't show this tool now, there's going to be a riot, okay? So uh -huh. having said that, I was sifting through loads pretty much the whole time you were talking because to get through 500 search results I don't even know what that takes what can that take five minutes maybe I don't know it doesn't matter because whatever that number is it's not even close to how fast dispatch monkey does it so I'm gonna log into dispatch monkey I've already done this because I've I put in my email address I created a password it's super easy I Dare I say easy peasy? You know I hate saying easy peasy, but I'm telling you, this was almost easy peasy. All right, so now I'm going to select a driver. I'm going to pick a I'm going to pick a nine car hauler that I've got a few drivers that I put in here, and um, okay, so let's say I'm going to go. Ideally, we're going to pick up in Baltimore, 
and I don't know, maybe we'll go to Indiana. All right. My the, my favorite part about this tool, and if you can see the screen right now, you'll see that what I'm going to do is I did my central dispatch search result, right? <laughs> All right. I'm going to do control C. Wait, I'm sorry. Control A. Select everything. Select all 500 results with Control A. I do Control C. I copy it. I go to Dispatch Monkey. I go into this box. And let me change the view here so everyone can see this. This is crazy. All right. And I'm going to, in this, in this paste search results box, Control V, I pasted it. I'm going to click discover the best routes. Instead of me looking at 500 cars, I do this. Found 10 routes for CJA. DispatchMonkey.com went through all 500 search results and came up with a route plan suggestion for me with the best paying loads listed at the top and it came up with nine options and each of those options the starting point is signified by a um what do you call that uh what do you call that little pointer that map pointer so there it is dispatch monkey J and here's the great part and, and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start taking uh audience um i'm going to take you guys your suggestions for search for route searches so that you can see this is live this is happening right now this is not pre-planned pre-made stuff i literally just did that search and i literally just put that in dispatch monkey and it literally didn't cost me anything now we have a free trial and we're going to talk more about some of the pricing but that is crazy dispatchmonkey.com and i hate to say this i mean i love to say it but literally if you're a driver and you do most of your own dispatching this tool will ensure that you keep doing your own dispatching right z yes yes uh, jay uh, can you hear me yeah can you hear me okay all right nine cars yes, out of new jersey okay. all right here's here's alex Okay, we're just going to jump right in because, I mean, you know, I'm a dispatcher. I don't have time to mess around. All right, let's do, all right, Alex. So I'm going to open another window. Nine cars out of New Jersey. Alex going where? Where do you want to go? Does it matter? Uh, in fact, let's just do that. Let's, let's do open-ended stuff. So let's do, uh, okay, nine cars out of New Jersey. I'm going to do New Jersey to all. And since you're a nine car, I'm going to do your minimum at, six i'll just do six to ten so we can see everything and seven days minimum pay per vehicle 30 cents 500 results or newer and okay here's 33 now i'm not going to look at it we see new jersey to connecticut control a control c um and i'm going to stick with this driver that is set up with when you do your drivers, you can set up the number of cars. So if you're a three car, it doesn't suggest more than three cars. That way, you know, it's it's on your side. It's working for you. Let's do New Jersey to, and we're going to pick a destination just so that somewhere we'd prefer to go. Um, where do you want to go, Alex? I'm going to pick something for you. And so when you put in your search request, pick where you ideally would want to go. You put that in so that the program helps you um, ideally get to wherever you want to go. New Jersey to, I don't know, I'll put in Michigan, but it'll recommend everything. Um, and I'm going to show you how that works. Control V, I paste it, and here we go. New and Jersey. You can put also the city, Jay. And I can put the city. Right, so I'm going to do... You can put the city, you can put the zip code. I can put the you city. Can put, uh, okay. Yeah, the city and state where you are, and uh, the dispatchmonkey.com will automatically pull pull it up from uh, Google Maps. So, yeah, just like that. Uh huh. So there it is, and that's probably if you were to do the search yourself, Alex. I think you could independently verify that those are the loads that you would have seen 
but this dispatch monkey calculated it much faster than you could have. And I'll bring you, okay? Sound good? All right, so there's, so Alex, there's your nine. Now, uh, I don't know if you can read those. Let's see, Columbus, New Jersey, Bordentown, 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 Manville, um, so you can see those. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go on to the next one, and then we're just gonna keep going. Around. Oh, Florida? Well, shoot, let's let's update it. He wants to go to Florida, so let's let's update it with Florida, and let's say within 500 miles of Florida, let's recalculate because we already copied the search results. Oh, it doesn't have anything. There's no full loads right now from Jersey to Florida. So let's open up our window, let's say within a thousand miles. Um, okay, well within a thousand miles, you can go to Ohio and stuff, but it looks like, uh, oh, let's see, let's make the, let's enlarge the map. Um, looks like, okay, we chose D shows up in Florida, but really the, the best load that's a full load in the, in the uh, search um, six through nine that I did is gonna go to Dallas. Otherwise, it looks like you're going to have to start picking up smaller clusters or single units. But we didn't have to sift through that, man. I have never had a tool where I could search, where I could do an automated search to figure out a route. Zimboy, this is the first time. And it, what we started talking, what was it, two weeks ago? Wasn't it, wasn't it two weeks ago I was doing a show and you were, you were messaging me? I think I think that's right. Okay, so let's do another. Yeah. That's right, isn't it? You messaged me yeah, two uh -huh. weeks ago, so I've known you for two weeks. Yeah, just a couple of weeks when I was messaging you and start telling you about our dispatchmonkey.com. Two years, uh huh. Yeah. Okay. All right. So here we go. Alan Spears is talking about North Carolina to Texas. So let's do it. Let's do, okay, so nine cars, North Carolina to Texas. And you can do this right now. Go to dispatchmonkey.com and you can do, they, 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 people can do that right now, right? Go to dispatchmonkey.com. I didn't, I haven't paid anything. Not yet. Um, I, I went there. I created my user profile. Just put in an email address, pick a password. Just click the join here link. Yeah. All packages come with a 14 day free trial. All right. So go ahead and create your login. I didn't give a credit card or anything. I didn't do any of that stuff. I just created a login, set up some drivers and I'm up and running. So, uh, let's see here. I'm going to go back to, all right, I'm going to do the North Carolina, Texas, nine cars. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, Okay, wait, let's go back to my search. All right, pick CJA. All right, let's do North Carolina. Let's do Texas. Okay, now we got to do our search. So I go back to Central Dispatch. I'm going to do North Carolina. I'm going to do... Now, because it's North Carolina, I'm also going to pick South Carolina, Georgia. You know, you still want to pick a region you know do your region like you would normally do what it's going to do though is it's going to spit out the, the best search results right away so i'm going to do those pickups i'm going to deliver to the to the southern region that's my search six through ten seven days i'm not going to do a minimum cents per mile filter because the south pays less than the northeast that's just you know i don't like it either all right, I got 14. I'm not going to look at it. Control A, Control C, and I picked Texas. I paste it. One, two, two seconds later, I've got, here we go, seven vehicles. Atlanta to El Reno, Oklahoma is the number one suggestion. Oh, there's, a, there's two of those. There's also two going to Oklahoma City. Uh... Dude, it happened, that was, <laughs> I've never found cars that fast, Zimboy, never. That's crazy. I've been dispatching for years, and it's never been this fast. Do you, do you realize, 
you're you're putting my job in jeopardy, Zimboy. <laughs> well, remember, do you realize I that? that uh, remember, I told you that uh, um, I was a dispatcher myself, so I was actually trying to solve the problem. <laughs> uh, well, I guess you did because, um, I mean, what am I going to do now? Wait, well, no, I mean, wait, we're canceling this show. Everybody hang up. Everybody disconnect because this can't get out there. <laughs> Jay's not going to have a job from now. <laughs> what am I going to do now? Well, you know, you can never really end a dispatcher's job, Jay. You know that. <laughs> you know, in transportation, you always need uh, uh, someone to be um, over the whole platform and oversee everything. Uh, that's going on in the logistics business. So yeah. you can never really get rid of a uh, uh, dispatcher's job. Oh, thanks. You, I feel much better. I really pre I appreciate that. I'll just I'll just drink my Kool Aid and uh, get my severance check, and I'll you know I'll see you later. <laughs> I guess I'll go. Uh, I don't know. I'll go panhandle. Nah, your your job is still intact, man. There's uh, <laughs> there's a lot of opportunities here in DispatchMarket.com. I mean, it's uh, man, it's actually, what it does, it's crazy. It makes everybody's job easier, actually. Well, you know what's cool is um, so then there's some really cool buttons on here, like um, okay, so I now that I see this route, I can click share with driver, and the email address. Yeah. Anyways, I can put in the driver's email address and send him an email of what I just found, right? Yes, exactly. Actually, if you just, uh, as an example, with what you have there um, on top, and remember, too, uh, to let your audiences know that, you know, all the top paying vehicles are always going to be right there on top. Yeah. And you can see that uh, on top there, it shows you that it found one route for you, and, you um, it's because here, you know, you have, uh, what's this, uh, a, 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 a 10 car hauler? Uh, so it's pulling all the, uh, the vehicles that it has in the database at one time. But when you do actually share with the driver, they will email that route and uh, the whole GPS triangulation and all the vehicle information to the driver. And when you click on trips there, you'll be able to actually view the maps that the driver is. Um, is going to see themselves actually if you click on order of pickup that's very interesting there because this system here dispatchmonkey.com jay it actually shows drivers how they are going to pick up the vehicles and how they are going to deliver those vehicles so if you want to show the audience is there if you click on order of pickup you will see the map zoom itself exactly on how these uh, vehicles are going to be picked up and that's and that's you know that's amazing there's so many parts here and what what's cool is okay number one i think that uh do my route with no minimum okay um and your alan yours is the north carolina i'll do that one second alan but what what i want to say was really what's interesting is number one it, it's like i can throw hundreds of loads into a blender hit puree and two seconds later I really do have the best paying loads, number one at the top. So that's number one. Number two, I love how you've integrated the map into what has been what has been sorted so quickly. It's easy to read. I mean, it looks like the way we're used to using maps, and I love that. And you're using Google Maps, aren't you? None of this MapQuest yeah. stuff, right? Yeah, see, I'm using Google Maps yeah. and stuff. Yeah, we're using Google Maps, and, you know, we facilitate exactly, uh, we tie all the routes in just one second. We put everything together. DispatchMarket.com will pull all the um, the vehicles. If you're a three-car hauler, obviously, it will show three vehicles. If you're a four-car, it will show four vehicles. Like right now, the example that you have here, um, it's putting all the vehicles uh, to meet the capacity of that trailer. And it does all that, the images and the map, Google Maps, all at one time. And, um, you know, with uh, a lot of other load boards, you, for you to be able to facilitate that, you have to actually click, you know, one at a time to be able to, to, to get your route. And that's very tedious, and it takes a lot of time. And that is why I came up with uh, DispatchMonkey.com invention. 
Okay, so I want to say this too. There's something going on in the chat talking about how, um, you know, it's what's interesting is um, just like any, uh, any big idea, um, new possibility, there are going to be, there's going to be questions and there's going to be possible pitfalls pointed out. So right now in the chat, because I'm not going to, I'm not, you know, there's an elephant in the room, so we're going to talk about it. In the chat, what's going on is there seems to be a, an idea where this could be a, potentially a problem. So I want to tell you guys in the chat right now, what we're going to do is, because Dispatch Monkey is, this is a special tool. There's no doubt about it. Um, we haven't seen anything like this before. It actually does work. We're going to do some more searches. Um, and again, I mean, I'm excited to have Zimboy on the show. Um, and you know, I cover all kinds of topics, so we're going to, you know, I'm going to keep going around the topics, but what I told Zimboy we're going to do is since this is a new demonstration is I'm having Zimboy on again next week and we're going to go through some of the feedback. I knew you guys would have feedback, questions, ideas, comments. We actually want that information. And Zimboy is going to come on next week, and maybe we'll, we can talk about some of that stuff. It's going to be great. So, I mean, we're not skirting the fact that some of you guys are going to have major questions. But there is no doubt that if you are an individual car hauler, and you have trouble sifting through loads quickly, this literally solves that problem uh, in, a, in a, just a few seconds. I mean... Let's keep doing some searches here because, I mean, it, it really just does. Yeah, Mike, I will definitely call you tomorrow, and we will definitely get to that information. Uh, let's see here. What do we got? Um, uh, let's see. Okay, so, Alan, I said I would get to your search, so let's do that. Uh, now, you know what, Alan? And we did nine cars north carolina to texas um there weren't a lot of you know there weren't a lot of bigger cluster loads to be found so i mean i can i can move that number down um to smaller cars at a time let's do like let's do three let's do three to ten. Oh, and that's why you're saying no minimum okay here we go got it okay one through ten so we'll see individuals we got the same pickup and delivery regions, and we are going to do, we're not going to do a minimum cents per mile. All right, here we go. Let's, we should get a lot of results now. This would take a long time to sift through, I'm assuming, based on what comes up. And, okay, so we got 554 results. Now, as you and I talked about, Zimboy, uh, you can only, Central Dispatch only allows you to have 500 per page, Right. Yes, yeah, central, because central dispatch only limits you to 500, so um, uh, all the dispatchers and uh, car haulers have to make sure that uh, they that number there is always, you see how you have it up there, like 500 or 554? Uh-huh. It's supposed to be like 500 off 500 or 300 or 300, so those numbers really have to be the same because central dispatch is, is what is limiting us. Otherwise, if uh, Central Dispatch would make that even a thousand or even twenty thousand, DispatchMarket.com can actually sift through the whole database of Central Dispatch and bring the top paying loads within a second oh. from the whole database. And you know, Central Dispatch at one time usually has about twenty to twenty-five thousand um, vehicles at one time to search from, and uh, DispatchMarket.com will actually sift through those 20,000 loads within a second and will tell you in order which one of those loads are the top paying and you can just pretty much play around with it the way you were with, uh, you know, moving our production to with the, you know, the distance and see that you want. Right, okay. And so, so we got 500, so here we go. I'm going to do Control A. And we're going to talk to, I'm, Mike has got a lot to say. And it, it's really interesting because... Mike, you and I are coming from the same perspective. We are dispatchers. We spend all day sitting at the computer looking for loads. 
So if a tool can automate something that we do, obviously we're going to be very interested slash passionate about that. But not to worry. I mean, I think I think it's a it's a I think it's an interesting thing to look at. All right, let's go back to uh, here we go. So we're going to North Carolina, Texas, paste fresh results, control V, and recalculate. One, two, three, four, four seconds here. And okay, so now without a minimum, it's looking at individual units that I could pack together and create a nine car load. And I mean, it's got me driving all over the place. So since I don't want to do that, let's go ahead and let's do 200 miles within origin instead of 500. And one of the things that, I mean, I see really I mean, happening with this is it at least gives you an idea of where to start your goose chase. I don't think by any means this replaces a dispatcher. Just like it seems like an autonomous truck isn't going to replace a driver. But it's technology that's definitely moving forward instead of backwards or sideways. Sideways or backwards. It's going forwards into the future, which is really, I mean, that's what we've done with technology throughout time. I mean, at some point, somebody said, I'm tired of sweeping this floor with a straw broom, and someone handed them a vacuum cleaner. It didn't take away the need for the person to be there to manage the work, but it sure did improve the process. All right. So, um, and again, this, this is this is my opinion. I mean, I, I, I do want to hear. I do want to hear all of the pros and cons, and that's why you're, you agree to come back next week to go through pros and cons. Do you agree to that? Oh, yes, yes. Right, I cool. will be... Um... Available as uh, many times as uh, you request me here, Jay. Okay. I mean, remember I told you that this is actually for car haulers, and uh, you know, uh, I'm here for car haulers, and this is a tool that is actually been developed to look out for car haulers, and it has been developed by a car hauler uh, who has very good experience in car hauling, and I know all the ins and outs about car hauling, and this is for every car hauler to take advantage of because it answers quite a lot of their problems. And you will see actually, uh, when you click on the picture there, actually Jay, you'll see that it actually zooms the picture and shows the driver which what kind of vehicle they're gonna pick up there. Right, okay, so right. Some of these vehicles aren't filled in yet, but I know like yes. it's showing like, you know, you can get, you get a picture of the vehicle and we haven't even started to talk about I me. Mean, you were telling me all kinds of features, and we're gonna hold yeah. back. We're gonna we're gonna keep that horse in the corral for the moment. Oh right? no, just, problem, just no problem. But I but, but I want to say this. What's interesting? Yeah. Hotshot Dave says, "What happens with the kids that have the wrong location and correct one in the notes? How do I see the notes for all the loads?" Guess what, Dave? Good news. That broker is no longer going to be able to trick you with all of the actual pickup. I mean, you might see one of their listings, but you won't see all 10 of them. That could actually be a good thing. Um, I could be looking at that wrong, but that, that's what I was just thinking. We can help them grow, but, no, uh, but by no means advertise a paid tool. And you know what? 14-day trial is a joke. <laughs> Listen, man, I agree with you. 14-day trial's really short. What's cool, Z, when we were talking about plans, and let's go ahead and, because the plan already got shown, and so, you know what, man, we're not, you know, we're not going to, um, we're not going to pull any punches. Let's see, we've got, where did I go? Okay, yeah, let me log out. Plans and pricing. What we're doing is, right now, you and I came up with this idea, um, to sweeten the pot, if anybody wants to buy this before April 15th, you can get it for half off the one-year price. Now, I would venture to say, if somebody said, you know what, you know what I'd really like, Z, instead of a 14-day trial, is, uh, you know, what, a 30-day, 60-day auto transport intel trial. I have a feeling you might be willing to work with that. Not a problem, Jay. Like I, I said, this so is for car haulers, and uh, you know we let uh, 
car haulers be able to play around with it. We give them an opportunity to play around with it. And, uh, you know, we let the car haulers be the ones that actually uh, dictate and decide um, on the tool. And um, after they play around with it, you know, I want uh, every input from everyone to be able to dictate on, uh, you know, the pricing because, you know, it is car haulers that work very hard and we really don't want to take uh, too much uh, money from them anyway. Exactly. I'm with you. Okay, so we got Miami to Georgia, five cars. Let's do it. Um, really, and that's what I want to do for several more minutes is I want to keep doing searches because I want you guys to see um, what I saw, which was, I mean, I have already, I have already been on the phone with more than one driver and used this tool while talking and um, the information that it generated was very useful to me. So, um, I mean, that's, that's true. I, I'm, I've already kind of found a way to, to use it a couple times to my advantage. Um, so why not, right? All right, so Miami to Georgia. Let's do Florida to Georgia. Let's do um, one, two, five cars. Now, I don't have a five-car driver set up in here. I'll use my four-car driver. Um, and yeah, you, you know, you can always, too, uh, Jay, go up there to the driver edit and uh, just create another one. Edit, uh, the driver, yeah. All right. And change see. it from, uh, you know, whatever car haul it is. And, you know, if you want to make it a three car, you can actually change it and edit it and make it a three car for just the show and stuff. And you can go later and change it back. Okay, cool. So I'm creating one five car. I mean, that's easy. That's another thing. Your interface. Oh, I'm just going to use my auto, my auto transport intel at gmail.com. Your interface is also really easy. Um, I, I really like that. There's many things about this that I like. Um, so Miami, Florida to, we'll just put Georgia. Let's figure, let's see what we got here. All right. And we got 571 results. Control A, Control C, and Control V. And one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three. <laughs> it's so fast, dude. It's crazy. Okay, Honda Accord, 94 cents a mile. GMC Yukon. And this is Lake Worth, Naples. If nothing else, at least this gives you an idea of where to start looking. I mean, at minimum. Even if you don't do anything else with it, it points you in the direction of here is the highest paying load at the moment, right? You could even get a an idea of a maximum gross revenue. So if you're just spitballing um, revenue ideas, it, there's a lot here, man. It's crazy. Oh, and then I can click on contact broker and it's got all of the information straight from the load listing, right? Right. Okay. Yes. If you click on a contact a broker there, yeah. you'll be able to, uh, to see all the information there. And then I just click it again to make that go away. And let's say, you know what, this International Pro Star, that's not even, I can't consider that. Oh, and here's a, here's a boat. So I just click remove, and then it recalculates, and get rid of that Pro Star, and recalculate. I'm telling you, this is crazy. This is crazy, man. And you see how quickly it removes the vehicle and then brings the, the next top paying vehicle. It really, I mean, it's nuts. I don't know. What do you guys think? I've been doing all the talking. Um, I know Mike's got some questions. I was using tools, tool dispatch, my guys. <laughs> Mike, we understand. Listen, I know. Mike, you have a dispatch business. I am also a dispatcher. True. And, and, and listen, there are so many, and deadhead miles, I get it, man. You and I know all the intricacies of how we're not going to just book these five right now and go home. And that, That's not how this works. I get that. But, Mike, you, you, what, what, you're, what you're doing maybe is making dr individual drivers that aren't going to hire a dispatcher anyways lose the opportunity to see this as this is a way for them to get off the ground. 
you know, like, like, okay, like Alan. I think, I think Alan and I have actually talked. I can't, I can't remember because I talked to so many people. But yeah, no, we did talk. And um, Alan and, and Juan, Juan's another good example, where individual owner operators cannot afford the expense of a dispatcher, and want to make sure that they just get up and running but they need extra help to find those loads faster, this tool is ideal for those people. Now, when you get the, when you get the machine rolling and you really just need someone, listen, is this thing gonna make all the phone calls? No. Is it gonna do all the negotiating? No. Is it gonna make sure cars are ready to go? No. That's what you and I do, Mike. We have plenty of work to do. But if this can help speed up the manual process of digging through 500 search results, yeah, that's a really, really good idea. Because essentially, when I dig through, and I'm not, I mean, I'm not making this up. This is why this tool interests me. When I look, when I do a load search, I got to manually dig through 500 loads. There isn't another option. That's literally what I have to do. I got to, I got to put the arrow, here we go. I got to put the arrow back on my head. And I got to dig them and make sure the, the blades are facing the right way. And I got to manually dig through 500 search results. That's what I do. That's what I've done nearly every day for the last several years. And it's crazy. Why wouldn't I get something, a piece of technology, that it can at least help me do part of my job faster? Just like a broker uses an auto-quoting software, it's not the end-all, be-all, but it can do the work while they're sleeping or it can help when they're awake. They still need to do their job well, but this technology helps improve the process. See, I, I, I'm sorry, you have to at least see that. But again, I didn't create this. I have no dog in this fight. It's just that I see some of the logic here. All right. So, well, and apparently, apparently there's a few people that are interested because I think, honestly, I think we just reached a new maximum number of viewers at one time, Zimboy. We have 40 people watching, and I'm pretty sure that's a record for Auto Transport Intel. It's either your tool or the stupid arrow through my head. I'm not sure which. DP Dispatch, what do you think? Market is there for anybody. You can't dispatch for all car haulers in the entire country. I like this channel because Jay shares lots of great stuff for us dispatchers. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. And Mike, you and you and I are friends, man. But uh, I do honestly believe that there is a market of individual owner operators that can't take on any more expenses and maybe aren't really ready for a dispatcher, but this type of tool could really give them the leg up so they can get some momentum, make some money, find those better paying loads, and and then move on to the, you know, because most car haulers want to create a fleet anyways. They, they have, <laughs> thanks, Mike, Mike, I have a lot of respect for you. We just talked the other day. In fact, let me take this up. Mike, you are coming on the show, I think in two weeks, and we've got, uh, what were we talking about? Top five reasons car haulers go out of business. That is going to be an awesome show. So next week, we're going to do uh, DispatchMonkey.com feedback. In two weeks, we're going to do top five reasons car haulers go out of business. And in three weeks, we're going to do uh, Dispatcher Training Part 3, which is crazy. Um, uh, let's see here. So what do we got? So any, what are some thoughts? I'm going to do another search. Um, but Juan, I think, I'll bet Juan that there's a car on this list that's at least interesting. Jay, what about the guys like myself that run with zero destination that they have to, you know what though, you're, you're special, Dave, because you have customers. And this tool is for guys that have no customers and really don't have any time. Um, they are so stretched thin with trying to be ELD compliant Make sure every nut and every screw is properly in place and they're freaking out about their financing and their insurance rates. And I mean, brokers telling them they don't have enough ratings. I mean, the list goes on and on, right? Oh, man, I need some, <laughs> some Kool-Aid. 
Oh, somebody say something. <laughs> hmm. What do you think, Z? Am I making a good point, or am I just rambling? Uh, no, you're actually uh, making excellent points there, Jay. I mean, um, I can see uh, there's uh, quite a, a lot of uh, some excited, excited people here tonight that uh, uh, love the, uh, the tool, and uh, a lot of people agree with you and I that it, it really does save a lot of time. And, you know, that's exactly what it was designed for. It was, you know, designed by a dispatcher, you know, a logistics person that, uh, you know, looks at all these load boards and stuff and organizes it very fast. Check this out. All right, Zimboy, here's a perfect one. Pastor G uh -huh. says, I just joined. Is this a software that anybody can use? Zimboy, what's the answer? Yes. This is a... Uh, it's a tool that anyone uh, that is actually a transporter can use. Um, see, with this tool here, you're not really just limited to central dispatch uh, uh, data. You know, you can take any load board here and, you know, paste it here. If you are someone who is uh, shipping, uh, say, farm equipment, you're shipping boats, motorbikes, or livestock, goats, or, you know, cows, you will be able to visually see the picture of the commodity that you're going to, to carry. Because remember, it's just a simple copy and paste uh, tool. So you can go to any load board, like say, for freight, DAF, copy and paste it. It will show you exactly the same way that it's showing the vehicles and the rerouting and stuff with central dispatch data. And while you're talking, okay, I'm doing a search for David, seven cars out of Florida to Phoenix, Vegas. All right, we got 423 results. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on drivers. I'm going to add a new driver, which is David. Make him a seven car, okay? Use my email address. And the email address is there so that if I say share with driver, that's the email address it goes to, right? Yes, yeah, it goes to the to the email address uh, to the driver's email address that you actually created there in the beginning of uh, the driver profile. And you know what I love about your program? I'm not getting hung up on oh, I need your credit card, MC number, I need the name of your children and where you live. And I mean, I hate the you know that we're not stuck. I mean, I just keep going, and I I love that. Uh, control A, Control C, Control V. One Miami, two Miami, three Miami, four Miami, four seconds. I got seven cars, Miami to Fl Miami, Florida to uh, 500 miles within Nevada. And again, I realize I can't just book these seven and high five and go home. But it did find me something. What's that? What's that one going to Vegas? Let's look at that. So I minimized the map. There is one going straight to Vegas. Okay, Claremont to Vegas. Uh, dang it, it's an International 3800. So let's remove that. And that's a factor of Central Dispatch. Includes farm equipment and everything else. Here's a skid steer. I mean, I do all via. I choose all vehicles because I want to see everything. I want to see, you know, non-runners. And here's a Tioga and probably have boxes of furniture showing up and run. but I mean you know what do you, what can you do and maybe you know as time goes on I mean there's there's about a, a jillion feature ideas you've already got so um, I'm just right now I'm removing the farm equipment um, okay I got trucks strv TV what is that man is that like another uh, construction equipment uh, all right so now I got mostly trucks. And also, what's interesting is, let's say I was, um, let's say I was just trying to price. I'm seeing that the best paying loads, most of these are trucks. No big surprise, right? <clears throat> but here's one. Okay, West Palm Beach to LA, Cadillac ATS for sixteen hundred. By the way, um, man, I mean, when you look at California rates. It start this starts to paint a picture about what kind of rates you're looking at as well, which might what might make you think about uh, mixing up your route search or your region search. I think that it's what you can say is by doing these searches, 
you start to surmise some ideas about what you're searching and how you might want to mix that up. What do you think of what I just said? Let's see. This is helpful for me. Oh, here we go. Abby says, this is helpful for new owner operators. Too many things to worry about. Not enough time. Every day there's a new expense, so we need to find good loads. Anything that saves time is a plus. Abby, exactly. I, I, think, that, I think that this tool speaks to a segment of the market and what you just said, you are in that segment. It's a good tool for reference at minimum. I, I really do believe that. I have no stake in Dispatch Monkey, but I... Uh, right when I saw this tool, I thought this is really, really interesting, especially since I've been staring at whether it's Central Dispatch Old Look or Central Dispatch New Look. I look at this load board every day. I look at Central Dispatch. Oh, sorry. Turn my head there. I look at Central Dispatch every day. I look at Ready Auto. I look at Cars Arrive. Sometimes I look at Metro Loads, sometimes I look at United Road, and then there's some other load boards, but I'd consider those the top five. And in doing that, um, I don't really need help with Ready Auto, Cars Arrive, Metro, United Road. I can sift through those. But there's many times where I do a search, especially when I'm route scouting and I'm just seeing the world, right? And it's too many results to just sift through quickly. So what really got my attention is that I could dump it into Dispatch Monkey, it spits out some ideas, and then that could help at least send me in a direction. Um, cool, man. All right, cool. Pastor G. Exactly. So, and and, and right? you can also use an example with uh, even a two-car hauler or a three-car hauler, um, uh, uh, Jay, because there's quite a lot of two-car haulers mm -hmm. and three-car haulers out there mm -hmm. on the highways, and uh, they may also want to be able to see that you can actually see the top two paying and top three paying vehicles on there. I'm glad you said that because we had an enclosed hauler search request. Okay, Georgia and Ohio, two-car. All right, let's do this one. And I, I don't book for enclosed car haulers because I find it really, really hard to put routes together. Um, so I'm going to do Georgia to, let's do uh, like. Sorry, I was an enclosed. Uh, um, you were? Uh, hauler, at, yes, at one, yeah, I, I did uh, open car hauling and I, I got a, into enclosed uh, hauling too and stuff uh, before I opened uh, my uh, dispatch company. I um, was involved in uh, enclosed car hauling. Okay, cool, man. And then, I, I, it, there's advantages with that because you can, in an enclosed trailer, you can always put in open vehicles too. Right. If they fit. So you can that's always. That's uh, a good point. You know, but yeah. they rarely pay what you're hoping for. Um, and even, and, and that's actually part of what I found, is even enclosed that are l listed on Central Dispatch, they aren't listed anywhere near what I think they should be paying. Did you did you have that feeling? Like here's a okay here's a Boxster at 148 per mile. I mean, that's you know that's better. But I mean you'll find a Hellcat listed for like 65 cents a mile. That's crazy. Yeah, well, yeah, in both vehicles that you know you think that they're really supposed to pay, um, you know, at least twice. So sometimes I've seen them pay three times uh, the price of an open right. car hauler. Right. And. Um, but anything, I mean, I, I think that probably the secret really is just to be proactive, keep searching, and um, and that's how you find the fresh, good-paying loads, is you've got to be proactive. And this tool helps you be a little more proactive instead of, oh, man, i got to pull over and dig and through loads that again. Really, uh, you dispatchmonkey.com, too, Jay, is you want to do all your filters uh, on your load board before you can do the copy and paste. So you want to make sure that if you don't want enclosed vehicles to show up or you don't want inoperable vehicles or, you know, you don't want um, three cars or four cars to show up, you can literally just do all your filters on centraldispatch.com there so that the data that you capture when you do copy, when you copy and you paste it onto dispatchmonkey.com, then you have clean data that has really all the vehicles that you kind of want and it's easy for you to maneuver and choose from that pack 
because you've already left what you don't want on centraldispatch.com. Okay, I'm going to do a search for Dave. And tell me, Mike, I didn't lose you, right? I didn't lose you. You're still with me. Um, you're just, you're kind of, we're in a wait and see kind of mode right now. And believe me, I'll tell you what, Mike, I guarantee you're not the only one wondering what what will work, what won't work, and what could possibly affect the future of our business. I guarantee it's not just you and me wondering that. All right, so um, because the frankly, yeah, okay, good, thank you. All right, thanks for sticking with me. I just, you know, we're buddies, and you're going to be on my show in two weeks, so I can't lose you. Um, all right, so okay, cool. Um, what do we got here, Dave? See. See, Dave, what what happens if one of my drivers runs off and starts using this? This is what I'm talking about. Then I'm going to have to go uh, drink some Kool-Aid, number one. All right. Tennessee to Indiana. Let's throw, uh, let's throw Kentucky in there. And let's throw in, uh, yeah, we'll just do those two. One through four, uh, seven days out. And you know what's cool? This was another thing that got my attention. Uh, Pastor, before I said it, Pastor G says, is there a fee? So Zimboy, what do we do for Pastor G that wants to try this? Do you think we can make a longer free trial for some for people that watch the show and, and, uh, and say, you know, Auto Transport Intel, we've got the ATIS, right? Auto Transport Intel Special. Do you think we uh -huh. could do, could we do an ATIS on the free trial? Yes, yes. But sure, like I said, uh, Jay, that, uh, you know, this uh, tool here is a tool that is designed by a car hauler to help car haulers. And, you know, it, uh, it's going to actually utilize a lot of information and input from car haulers themselves because, you know, the car haulers are the ones that are going to be using this tool, and it's engineered to help them on their daily uh, needs. So, I got an idea. I think what we'll do is this, Pastor G. How about this? People can sign up for the 14-day free trial right now, and by, the, by next week's show, Z and I will come up with a few packages for the owner-operators that that truly helps them like the longest free trial package we can offer or the best we, i think we got the best overall price the 50 percent off if you pay for a year uh before april 15th we already have that pa package but we're going to come up with a killer free trial package can we do that z yes sure okay. we can certainly do that jay and uh you know um uh the audiences too can send us an email at contact at dispatchmonkey.com. Contact at dispatchmonkey.com with any information and, um, you know, uh, any suggestions of pricing. Uh, we can certainly accommodate our car haulers, Jay. That's not a problem at all. Okay, so I'm putting that in the. Uh, I am putting that. I put that in the chat. Contact at dispatchmonkey.com. You can email Dispatch Monkey. Look, Dave. You, there's your load, man. No, nah, it's four pickups. That ain't going to work. Um, here's three pickups. So. And you realize, too, Jay, that it's so it, it actually on top there in the middle. It has it found ten routes uh, for, uh, for Dave. So you can actually scroll down there because the oh, one yeah. that you're showing on top there uh, see, right. shows you the total, the gross revenue there. And then if you scroll down, you'll see all the other nine routes. That is crazy. It came up with ten route options. That's nuts, yeah, man. So if you scroll down, you'll be able to choose. And all those ten, they are, you know, the top bang, best paying routes. Now I'm gonna need a dis. I'm gonna need a dispatch monkey for my dispatch monkey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You see that it, it actually lists those in order there with uh, 
just kind of like the, you know the airlines, you know, it lists them with by the order of uh, how 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 much they're paying and stuff. Yeah. Right, right, just like the airlines. Yeah, and that's and actually that was another thing. This program reminds me. It reminds me of what did I say? Like uh, Trivago or Hotels.com, right? Is that it's just yeah, yeah. It it's it is fascinating. All right, so let's do this. We've we've shown we've demonstrated the product. Um, we're in kind of our uh, we're gonna start to wind it up. Oh, before we do, just for kicks, you sent me this. Um, so quit monkeying around and uh, give me the address. Okay. Um, you sent me. All right, let's talk about this. Let's go through. We've got. Okay, we know it works with Central Dispatch, and you're going to start working on the other load boards or you already have or something like that. I know you, you've already started working on this stuff. Yeah, we already have. Actually, yeah. we have already worked on all those uh, uh, other load boards there. Um, okay. I don't know if you have, uh, you ready to show those photos there of uh, yeah, so let's... the other load boards here that... Uh... Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start to... So we've got Ready Auto... Cars arrive, and yeah. I, I say this. Here's the top five, okay? It's no secret. Top five load boards. Central Dispatch. Yeah. Ready, uh, one Dispatch Ready Auto Transport. Cars Arrive Network. Now, I say Ready Auto and Cars Arrive Network, they're really close. Number two and number three. Um, I also yeah. say United Road is probably four, and Metro Loads is probably number five. Yeah. And other than those and, uh, five... You don't really need to search. I mean, I'm not going to get into the to the small, really small load boards that are out there. If you have a load board and you disagree, send me an email, autotransportintel at gmail.com. Tell me I'm wrong or put it in the comments below. And I want to say that too. Comments below this video are welcome anytime. Likes, dislikes, shares, and comments. All right, so let's move on. Now, you and I have talked about freight load boards. Have you have you already started working on freight load boards? Yes, we already have uh, 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 a, a DAT. Wow. Um, we have a DAT okay. um, selector, and we have that already uh, mapped out. You do the same exact thing. You just copy and paste it on dispatchmonkey.com. And it will just triangulate, um, you know, all the uh, commodity and uh, the um, the mapping and stuff of where the load is leaving from and where it is going. Okay. So then I'm going to go to the next one. You've got universal load board or something like that, yes. right? Like you've got other freight load boards? Yes. We have uh, some other uh, international ones, actually. Um, okay, so I'm on. Um, all right, so to, yeah, I pulled up. Okay, so returnloads.net is a that's a United Kingdom load board. Yes, uh huh. That's uh, it's in, in it's in uh, Europe. Wow. But we have uh, uh, a few um, load boards that we have um, uh, mapped there in Europe and stuff. So this tool is actually an international tool. It operates all load boards at the same time in the world. See, like uh, returnload.net. Um, we have another one um, uh, in load, um, load Australia shift. there. Load shift. Yes, we have one in Australia, and we have one, um, a new outfit that uh, is in South Africa. Wow. Yeah, in South Africa. So, you know, we um, actually do run quite a lot of load boards at the same time because our tool pretty much is a triangulation tool, you know, just like you have uh, been showing. It just takes, you know, the load itself as road data and translate it on our tool, and our tool will be able to show you the commodity that you're going to be able to, that you're going to pick up, and it also triangulates and shows you the routes and stuff and the distances between all your pickups at all at the same time. And the interesting thing, too, with our uh, full tool, uh, Jay, is that it is a very smart tool that actually answers quite a lot of the problems that the car haulers have with 
um, where you see with Ready Auto, they want you to use their own app, and United Road, they want you to use their own app. You know, everybody wants you to use their own app. So our tool, DispatchMonkey.com, is a tool that is so smartly engineered that it can actually control and make all those um, other apps work exactly the way that the brokers themselves want it to do without having any cost at all. There's no cost for our interface to be able to link with uh, all the brokers uh, because all we do is facilitate um, the, the running of their Lord boards. And, you know, we are not a Lord board ourselves. You know, we have uh, no interest in uh, having a Lord board. Uh, we just a tool that actually facilitates how Lord will run. So, and also, so you've got, okay, now you've got like, is, I'm assuming this is kind of a future idea, but you've, you've taken it into consideration, is favorite trucking routes, and then you've also so, got... So yeah, we actually have this developed, uh, 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 Jay. It is a full system that is actually has been developed. Wow. And we have... Um, some modules of it that we are just introducing slowly. So as uh, car haulers start using this tool, they will actually see quite a lot of things that are changing in it every day as they are using. You'll see quite a lot of upgrades and stuff. You know, we'll be able to show you, you know, the times in different time zones and the temperatures at the top pick up and drop offs, things like that. You know, we want it to be very uniquely um, um, you got, social in nature. You've got least favorite. You got least favorite trucking routes. Wow. Say that. Lee, yeah, I like that. Yeah, because I like these maps. Yeah, because, these are cool. Yeah, because see, we we have a network of car haulers that are using this, so we already have info, information about which driver is carrying what load and stuff like that. You see, and uh, drivers would be able to use DispatchMonkey.com as more of like a social tool too. A driver can request yeah. another driver as a friend, and they can share and you know share whatever is going on on the highway, or you know it's 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 it, it's a tool um, that is going to actually bring car haulers together with the brokers with the shippers, with the dispatchers. So it's our own tool, in-house, social kind of media for car haulers. All right, and tell me, what am I looking at here? I've got, um, I've got this is uh, how the driver sees the loads on the road. So you've got the, uh, you got, it looks like we're on Manhattan. We got the truck, and we see, it looks like we're seeing pickup points as well as drop-off yeah. points. Yeah. Yeah, those pickups, as you see, those pickups are the ones that you've been showing, you know. Uh, this is uh, just showing all the triangulation of, you can see in yellow there, that would be the truck. And the truck would be able to actually just go on the app and say, hey, this is where I am. Show me the closest routes around where I am and to where I want to go, pretty much. Wow, man. That's awesome. So all right. That, that's that's where it is it, it, it is going and it's a full uh, ERP system right that is just for car haulers okay so then you've got all right so more maps showing individual loads and um, let's see here this is okay this looks like I think this is a freight is this a freight map or well this has to do with residences now I just I'm, I'm uh, which map? Let's see. Okay, yeah, Dot. this map here. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this is this is a very important map actually here. This is a very important figure because this is this actually shows the full system um, when it's functioning. You can see that in yellow there, all these little blue here would be uh, the load numbers uh, for the brokers, and in red those would be like the drivers um, when they're driving they will be able to actually see the loads kind of pop up on their on their app so that they can instantly book those loads 
and uh, <laughs> the brokers crazy. will also be able to see the drivers uh, empty spots so that they can actually concentrate on the drivers themselves instead of calling everybody and saying, do you have going to have a truck here, you're going to have a truck here. The brokers will actually have informed information because they'll know exactly where the truckers are. I'm telling you, man, this is awesome, dude. I feel like I'm taking a tour through the Disma yeah, Dispatch we, Monkey uh, Laboratory. Yeah, we also going to have, uh, because of the new e-log, we have a DispatchMonkey.com device that actually is super because it has all the uh, GPS triangulation and also has the, uh, the uh, DOT requirements. And the good thing with our device is that it the device that's actually going to show you the reality and what the government wants. The reality, the reality is what we have been doing before using the paper laws, and what the government wants is exactly the new rules. So our device will be able to show you reality and the law, so that we can have an informed decision to say, hey, this is exactly what's going on in this field. <laughs> Man, you got, I, I can tell, yeah. you, you must wake up in the middle of the night with ideas. Oh, yeah. See, we have, uh, you know, where our car haulers and transporters can find uh, their truck parking and stuff like that, wherever they are on the app. Our app is going to have a lot of information. Well, and you know what? As maps develop and satellite views develop, like I got the I got the picture up now where I guess you could see a 3D uh real-time map, so to speak, of yeah. where you are. Yeah, exactly. That's mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah, I mean, that, that makes sense. That definitely, that looks like the future of route mapping, load mapping. That's what that looks like to me. Right? Because that's a real map. What is, I'm guessing that's Florida? Yeah, we, 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 we have uh, uh, some of the, uh, the stuff that is actually, you can actually we have modules that actually can uh, show you this stuff here happening, Jim. Crazy. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to go to, what have I got next? Okay, then I'm on your InstaView screen. So I guess this would be kind of a, um, like a main menu screen where I can pick the types of things I'm looking for, way stations, motels, GPS, weather, right? Yeah, exactly, yes. So as you see there, when you click on that interview, um, you see quite a lot of things there. You, you know, you see um, all the little, yeah, icons there. Dispatch. You know, and, uh, Dave yeah, says. Yeah, exactly. There you go. <laughs> Dave yeah, says, "What thing. dispatch?" <laughs> I. You know what's cool? I. I. I think that drivers. I'm going to say this. Drivers that I work with are going to still want me to work with them. I truly believe that. But if you're brand new, you've never worked with a dispatcher, and you you have to try and go it alone, this tool makes sense. And then as you talk about the, the features of the future and where you're headed, I mean, yeah, this is, man, you're going to be like Pac-Man. If you make this happen, you are going to Pac-Man the industry. Well, that's uh, exactly what we are wanting to achieve to uh move into uh, the new technology of doing things in a better and efficient way, Jay. I mean, well, you know, I mean, it's amazing. We'll, we'll see what happens next. But, I mean, there are, as we also know, today there are, how many ELD providers are there? 50? Do you know? Yeah, there's quite a, it's uh, a lot. few of them out there, actually. It's a lot. So when you look at the amount of car hauling software, it's not anywhere near 50. Why is that? Well, that's a very interesting uh, point, actually. Um, you have to remember that uh, to implement and develop uh, software is very, very expensive. Okay, to, good and, point. Uh, it actually involves, um, you know, uh, finding, you know, the right developers, like, you know, the... Uh, the developers that are behind DispatchMonkey.com, uh, you know, experienced senior software engineers from Fortune 500 companies, you know, like um, 
yeah, Google, eBay, and Adobe and stuff. So these guys know exactly what they're doing. I mean, these are awesome, awesome engineers who have awesome knowledge, and you know, their heart is, you know, with car haulers, and they want to implement uh, all the uh, they can do to be able to help uh, the transportation industry. Yeah. Well, I mean, and. You know, with all of the, um, like in my in my 20 Steps to Car Hauling blog post, when you look at all of the different types of data that a car hauling business owner has to manage, from IFTA, licensing, maintenance, ELD, I mean, it ties into what you're talking about. There's so much data to manage, and a lot of that data now, those data strings, have been digitized. So you need an overall ERP like you're talking about, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah, we we need like a full ERP and enterprise resource planning system that actually ties everything together, which is like a one-stop shop that really does everything for car haulers, you know. And the way that we actually engineering this year, we want this system to. At the end, we wanted uh, car haulers because the problem that car haulers have is the cash flow too. Because brokers will pay quick pay and 30 days and stuff. We wanted to build this to be able to be a COD only uh, a platform, regardless of how the broker is paying. Uh, DispatchMonkey.com mm. will be a COD only um, uh, platform. All the loads that go through DispatchMonkey.com, we want them to be all COD so that the transporters, the car haulers, will always have the money at delivery because that was the problem, you know, when I was car hauling, you know, you always, you know, needing, looking for CODs and stuff like that. And, but this is going to solve that problem because we want this to be a strictly COD. Well, it's interesting. As you're talking about that, one of the things that you, you mentioned to me um, when we first started talking was, Weren't you talking about micro payments, and that you could make micro payments if you could integrate that into a system? Were you talking about that? Yeah, that's exactly what I was okay. talking about. That you know, um, we want we've implemented this to where when uh, transporters deliver, we want to facilitate that they get paid right away because they are the ones that are doing the work on the ground and they need to keep the cycle moving. And for the cycle to keep moving, we have to make sure that all the transporters have the money because they are the ones that pick up the loads and deliver the loads. So we have to make sure by all means that they have the money to put diesel and uh, you know eat on the road and do all the repairs all the breakdowns, you know, so we are trying to make sure that transporters always have the money if we create this to be a COD site. And, you know, okay, so I just was having a couple more thoughts, and then we're going to wrap it up here in a few minutes, but uh, number one, it's clear that you understand this industry from the inside. You're not an outsider showing up to try and create a solution I mean, you really know and understand the pain of car haulers, right? Oh, yes. I mean, I, I, I do, and yes, that's I do. that is I clear. Do because I've been there. Yeah, I've been there, and you can tell with the knowledge that I use to engineer this whole tool that it is from someone who has been a car hauler before, who actually understands how the load boards work. And, and the second thing I was thinking is, if nothing else, I think you sure have given. Folks that have 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 watched this show tonight, something to think about, because we know there are load boards and we know there are some ways to manage some data, but there is no ERP today that does everything business owners in car hauling are looking for. Exactly. There's not. That is very true, Jay. That's very true. So that is why um, DispatchMonkey.com uh, uh, came up with a, a full ERP system that um, caters for the transportation industry because really all it is, 
majority of the transportation industry, they get loads from a load board, and you have dispatchers that have to sit down there and read the load board and stuff and try and interpret it so that they can get these loads much quicker to the drivers. So dispatchmonkey.com, what it does is facilitate all that in one second, and the drivers don't really have to do much. And um, when the system is fully running, actually, it's going to be so automated to where as the drivers are just driving uh, on the map web, they'll be able to just be populated with loads just popping up because the system will know exactly what you're already carrying on your trailer, and it will be able to say, well, we know that, Jay, you have a vehicle from Tennessee to uh, Indiana, so they automatically look for a vehicle coming back from Indiana to Tennessee, just like that. We'll probably cover that oh, next week. Hey, sure the background. That's right. And Mike just asked, what is the promo code? Oh, my gosh. I forgot yeah, to put that in my notes. Yeah. You guys ready for the promo code? All right. I'm going to type it. In. Thank you, Mike. Thank you so much for asking me that. Promo code. Oh, I wrote promo Cody. Everybody's waiting with bated breath. Jay, spell it already. A-T-I-S. 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 Is the promo code Auto Transport Intel Special. Um, and you know what I was going to say, Zimboy? You know what's really cool? Is you yeah. you did this on my show. You chose my show. You contacted me two weeks ago. And here it is, man. You're on my show. You have this information. You let me demo it with you live, and I want to thank you for that. I think that is really, really cool, and I appreciate that you chose me to do that. Well, I appreciate you uh, for uh, having me uh, tonight here, uh, Jay, and I appreciate uh, all your audiences uh, tonight for tuning in and listening in. Yeah. And, uh, you know, this is time for them to try the, uh, the tool. Uh, you know, go to dispatchmonkey.com and sign up. And just uh, use it the same way that Jay explained it, and uh, you know, use that uh, promotion code ATIS for um, Auto Transport Intel Service uh, from Jay. And uh, if you use that ATIS, ATIS promo code, uh, you'll be able to uh, take advantage of uh, Jay special. And and you know what Brian asks, and we talked about this. Brian says, ask him about the backhaul that you want Central to have. And what did you say to me? Yes, we have uh, 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 a, a way of uh, actually we can build you a backhaul trip here on uh, dispatchmonkey.com <laughs> instantly. Uh, because it has the same data, right? Yeah, it has the same data pretty much. You know, if you put the same states where you're coming from and where you're going, you're going to have the same data. So all you got to do is just go there on the top left on the production tool and just change the cities. Right. And you will get your back route. So it's, and it's really, really neat. And you don't have to keep going back to the original load board. All the data that, that you've copied, once you paste it, you can utilize all that, that data there. So I just switched the cities, uh, Indianapolis to Tennessee, and I may not have done it right. Although I think, I think on this one, my, uh, my pickup and delivery too close to each other. So let's do, instead of New Jersey, Florida, let's do Florida, New Jersey. And yeah, Florida, New Jersey. Florida, New Jersey. And then, well, there aren't, well, okay, let me open up the window. And ideally, but I think what we're really talking about is if you have that special, it'd be called Jay's Backhaul Button, the JBB. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah. Just but press you, you the JBB. Yeah. yeah. You can show it with a quick search on Central Dispatch just by choosing two, two states and put the same state on the other side, too. Yeah. Quick, quick, I'm, yeah. I'm doing, and I think, I mean, I don't know. I might be, well, this one this one appears to be back all. But, but I think what we can, we can say, what we do know is this. Not everything is 100% lift off off the ground tonight but there's no doubt that what we've shown with these live demonstrations is that i mean this thing crunches data 
faster than it's ever happened before. No way. Alan Spears just gave me a super chat. Alan, thank you so much, buddy. You know, um, the super chat, I'm just going to pause the show for a second, Zimboy. The super chat button is a wonderful uh, feature that YouTube developed so that as a creator, we get the opportunity to get a donation from the audience. Um, and Alan has given me a $20 super chat. Um, to thank me for spending the time to work on his route and also to call attention to the fact that, I mean, we're able to interact here with creator to live chat participant. Um, Alan, that means so much to me and to the show, and I really want to thank you for that. And I can tell you this, that um, that, that money goes straight into, I'm, I'm developing the logo right now, so that's where that money goes, into the logo development. And I really appreciate that. So thanks, Alan. Um, uh, and on that note, what were we saying, Zimboy? Because I think we got to wrap up the show. I'm, I'm starting to go into, oh, I'm almost at two hours. But there's so much to talk about. I mean, this is an amazing tool. So wh why don't you do me a favor, see if you can wrap it up for the night and lead into, you know that we're going to bring you back next Tuesday night. Um... You're, we're going to bring you back next Tuesday night. Oh, oh, that's you. Or no, that's somebody else with you. Um, so we're going to bring you back next Tuesday night. What would you like to see happen? How would you want, how would you like to interact with this audience again next week? What can we do? Is there something that we can do for you? Well, actually, uh, the best thing uh, is for them to be able to take this opportunity this whole week to try the tool. Okay. And, uh, you know, uh, tell as many car haulers as possible to actually try this tool okay. and, um, so that when we meet again next Tuesday, uh, we can answer all their questions and, um, you know, answer and have, you know, answer even all their suggestions that they may have and uh, even their testimonials, you know, if a lot of them think that maybe there's some changes that we need to make or, you know, if, you know, the development should be geared in a different direction or there's some cool things they want to see on there. Like I say, this one is for car haulers. It's developed by car haulers and it is a car hauler tool that um, we are really going to uh, rely on you car haulers to give us a feedback. You can send us an email on contact dispatchmonkey.com and um, we'll be able to get all your information and reply all your emails. And, uh, you know, take advantage of uh, Jay's promotion code, uh, ATIS, and uh, that promotion code there, you know, valid till I think sometime in April there. So, you know, like I said, you know, Jay, we can uh, revisit the pricing and uh, talk about it. And so, this is for car haulers. It, it, it is. It, and Big Papa says this is very helpful. Yeah, I mean, I found it really helpful. I'm still finding it helpful. And so to, to sign up for free, to use the free day, 14-day free trial, and then, you know, we'll figure out, we'll put people in touch with you to figure out how to how to extend that free trial uh, because they're, you know, they're watching right now and um, you want people to use it. So you would, exactly, yes. yeah, I mean, you want, I know you want people to use it because that helps you understand, you know, what you need to do to help make it grow. So you just, exactly, yes, yeah. So you just, I want other car haulers to use it a lot. Yeah. You know, so that we can get a very good feedback for next week. And then, um, so you just just create an account. Just click join there, join here, put in your email address, create a password, and that's it, right? Yep. No, that's it. no and credit then, uh, card. Just use your, right. Just use your favorite load board for in, this example you've been using is Central Dispatch. It's just a simple copy and paste, guys. Yeah. Copy and paste too. That's it. So it's. So if you want to, so you do Control A, selects select all the all, info. Yeah. Yep, and then you do Control C to select it, or Control A selects, Control C yeah. copy, and then Control uh -huh. uh, Control to paste. V to paste. To In fact, paste. here we go. Here's a, here's a, here's feedback. You can put that up here. Control A, Control C, Control V. Control the world. 
<laughs> control the dispatch. Control dispatchmonkey.com helps you control your dispatch. There you go. You say it there, Jay. There it is, man. Well, this has been fun. I knew it would be fun. And um, you're, I want to say this, Zimbo, you're, you're a really interesting guy to talk to. Oh, my gosh. Clarksville Trucking. No way. I just got two more Super Chats. Guys, thank you so much. Hey. Yeah? Wait some for me, Jay. <laughs> you seem to be getting it all by yourself, man. Well, you got to set up a YouTube channel. I, I want to say this, Clarksville. I want to say Clarksville truck because there's a there's a uh, there's actually a um, it's it's part of the symbolism of the super chat. It's like uh, you know if you know when you're in church you got to worship or you know what however it is you want to look at it. But Clarksville Trucking, um, that's Dave at Clarksville Trucking, and Dave and I. We did a video. Um, it's called Meet Dave, Meet Wally Mo. Dave drives a Wally Mo trailer. Great video. Great guy. And um, actually, what's really interesting, Dave, is I was working our, our other video. Um, this is a new video. Nobody knows about it. And I want to make sure I do it right. So I was actually, I was editing that. I was working on that at 1 in the morning last night. Couldn't sleep, so I got up and I was editing video. Um, so thank you, Dave. I, I really appreciate that. And I want to say to Brian, the car hauler, man, you've, you've said some cool things in the time that I've seen you in the live chat. I appreciate your participation on this show and, um, both you and Dave and Alan, um, are, you know, you help bring the, um, auto transport Intel core, um, into action. The, the core keeps growing and this channel keeps growing, and I really, really appreciate that. So, and since I'm in a thankful mode, I wanted to thank you, Zimboy. You know, you're a really interesting guy to talk to. You've got a lot of information. It's obvious that you've been in the trenches. And um, so, on behalf of all that you've done and, and worked through, I appreciate that you took that knowledge and built a tool around that. That's not easy to do. So, um, I salute you for that. I mean, good job. Thank you very much, Jay, for having me uh, on the show tonight. Cool, man. All right, well then, let's wrap it up. Um, I'm going to let you go. We will talk soon about how best to get all that feedback going. I know that um, we've got a lot of interesting things to hear from Mike and um, several other viewers. I know Hotshot Dave had some stuff, so we'll get that. We'll get that set up. If you want to join the conversation about feedback, send an email to contact at dispatchmonkey.com. Send an email to me, autotransportintel at gmail.com. And um, we both want to hear from you. We want to hear everything, the good, the bad, the ugly. If you have any trouble logging in, I don't know how you would, but if you do, just get a hold of Zimboy at con contact at dispatchmonkey.com. And I will be talking to you soon, and then we'll talk about next Tuesday, okay? Yes. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Jay. Yeah, man. Tonight was really fun, so I'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much, and good night to everybody I was watching tonight. Thank you. All right, yeah, cool, man. All right, talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night, Jay. All right, good night, Zimboy. So, man, that is awesome. Um... And we're at the two-hour mark, so I want to thank you guys for sticking around. Um, it really takes a lot of stamina to watch this show all the way through. And um, we've got people showing uh, real stamina. And um, I know some of my videos, I think overall I'm per pretty happy with what's happening. But I know some of them are kind of hit or miss. So I love the comments. Um, comments are great for um, YouTube rankings. So give me those comments. If you've got, I really like likes, but if you have to dislike, do it. Any engagement is helpful. Um, tell your friends, tell other car haulers. And uh, if anybody, if you know of anybody that wants to be on the show or has an idea for a video or a topic, I want to hear from them too. I do want to expand this out into um, the car buying mobile apps and you know moving it further out into the shipping customer area so i'm working on that also so 
For now, I'm going to shut down all the windows. I'm going to start up the car hauler. And, man, guys, I will, uh, let's see, make this window bigger. And I'm signing off. So I will see you next Tuesday night. And send me emails. Let's get that feedback for DispatchMonkey.com. I thank you for joining me, and I will see you in a week. You guys take care. Bye-bye.